going to be making a headboard that matches the bed frame that I built a few weeks ago. So stay tuned. I'm making this project from one sheet of plywood. I started by cutting it down with my track saw, then using my table saw to rip down the pieces. Now I wanted the legs on the headboard to be kind of thick, and I could have used something like a 2x6. However, since I purchased an entire sheet of plywood, I decided to go ahead and use it. So I cut four pieces all the same and then glued two together twice in order to make up the legs. I added some weight and then just let it sit to dry. While that was drying, I cut the two pieces that will make up the flat portion of the headboard. And I finally decided to use my biscuit joiner. So I laid out my marks and then used the joiner to cut in the, uh, what do you call them, pockets maybe? I then applied glue, making sure to get it inside each one of the pockets, and then inserted a biscuit. I placed some bench cookies under the workpiece so it wouldn't be glued to my workbench, then set it in some clamps to dry. While that was drying, I moved to the table saw and cut all the pieces I'll use for trim. Then I went through and applied edge banding to all of the exposed edges. You first take the edge banding, which can be found in the trim aisle, then you simply iron it on. After a few seconds, I take a scrap piece of wood and apply pressure just to make sure that it makes a good bond. Then I come back with the chisel and cut away the excess. Now I have a surface that will stain much nicer than the plywood layers. Once everything was dry, I took everything out of clamps, then started adding the trim pieces by gluing and nailing them into place. I also used a speed square to just make sure that these vertical pieces were straight. And I'm sorry about the poor lighting. I currently only have two lights working in my shop. They're all on the list to be replaced. Once all of the front trim was on, I added a top cap the same way. Next, I flipped the headboard on its face so that I could use the biscuit joiner to attach the legs. So I once again made my marks and then I came through with the joiner to make the pockets. I applied glue, the biscuits, and then put the legs in their place. Now I don't have any clamps large enough to clamp all this together. So I ended up using the weight to hold in place one end and then some of these smaller clamps to hold in place the other end making sure that I wasn't tilting them forward by clamping them like this. I added a little bit more weight and then once again let it dry. While that's drying, I want to talk to you about this video's sponsor, Lisa. If you are in the market for a mattress, then go to lisa.com slash april and get $75 off a mattress. Lisa makes luxury mattresses that are comparable to the Tempur-Pedics, except for they are way, way less money. They ship to your door in a box, you unroll them, and within 30 minutes you have a very comfortable mattress ready to sleep on. I personally sleep on the Tempur-Pedic, so I can tell you that these are very comparable. Also, I've had three people sleep on this since putting it in my guest room, and everybody has nothing but positive things to say about it. Lisa uses three layers of high quality foam to create a soft to the touch feel, but a firm sleeping mattress to where my back doesn't ache in the morning whenever I wake up. Now they do have a 100 day return period if you don't end up loving your mattress. And also something I really like is Lisa donates one for every 10 mattresses they sell to a homeless shelter. So your purchase is definitely going towards a good cause. So if you are looking for a mattress, then go to lisa.com slash April and get $75 off. All right, the last thing to do was to add a finish and then haul it inside and attach it to the bed frame. I had trouble getting it all in the same frame because it's kind of a small room but I'm really happy with the way that it turned out. Okay, so now I have a matching headboard that goes with my bed frame. Now keep in mind that even though I went with a design that's very simple and easy, you can customize this to look really any way that you can imagine. Bob Claggett, I like to make stuff, put out a really cool looking headboard. So I'll leave a link in the description of the video to that video, just so you can get an idea on a different design. Um, also, you can very easily change the height of the headboard just depending on your personal preference. That's a very easy modification. 
Now, if you would like to build this one, I do have the tutorial and a set of plans on wilkerdoos.com. So be sure to check out my website. Also on my website, I am now selling stickers. So for anybody starting a sticker collection, I now have some available. And I think that's it. I hope you all have a great week and I'll see you soon. Go. Go on.